Hello my dear friends, another video about lazy piston in your hydraulic brakes. <clears throat> now, I had this problem with the front brake where one piston will go in uh, a lot smoother than the other. So what happened was um, when you press the brakes, one brake uh, piston comes out easily and further and another one still stays in place inside of the brake caliper so I uh, read online checked what can you do um, apart from obviously replacing the brake caliper and there were some recommendations of cleaning the piston so I thought yeah it does make sense there's some dust from the brake pads, uh, some dirt and sand and whatnot, and it just prevents the brake piston from coming in, all of the dirt and dust. And so I took off the wheel, got rid of the pads, and then pressed the brake a couple of times so that the piston comes out. It was very hard because one piston obviously will come out and another one will stay in place. So I used some plastic tire levers and pressed the one that was working fine and was pressing the brake again, trying to get the other one to come out. Eventually it would come out, then I will clean everything with isopropyl and uh, whatnot around, you know, clean all of the pistons and inside of the brakes uh, around the pistons area. It um, didn't help at all. It was a lot cleaner. I lubricated the pistons as well. It wouldn't help at all. So I thought, okay, probably what has happened is the body of the brake caliper is just worn. Uh, maybe there are some scratches on there or something like that. And this is why one of the pistons just does not come out. It's just crooked and bent. Maybe it was damaged somewhere. So I was ready to give up and replace the caliper. And then I saw online some recommendations about saying that uh, you actually need to bleed the brakes because what happens sometimes is there's a little bubble of air which is caught right underneath the piston. I know it doesn't make sense because air usually comes up um, in the hydraulic system but yeah, there was a recommendation to re-bleed the brakes and that little air bubble that got caught right underneath the lazy piston could, uh, could be fixed like that and then it will fix the whole system. So although I did bleed the brakes not so long ago, I decided I'll just bleed them again. Um, just be very careful and do it really, really properly making sure that there's absolutely no air um, and as you know the way it's done is you just uh, connect the syringe and push some uh, some of the oil up and yeah there's heaps and heaps of videos of how to do it so yeah I've re-bled the brakes and it worked so yeah there was a little bubble of air right underneath the piston so just a quick hint, if you have a lazy piston problem, make sure that you re-bleed the brakes, especially before you're going to get rid of the caliper or do anything radical or like that. Just yeah, bleed the brakes again very carefully and this may help. That's all.